Hello guys, welcome to Code with BK. So IC Computer Science Practicals for year 2020 are very near. So I've listed certain topics that are very important and I suggest that, that you should at least practice these before you are uh, appearing for your practical exams. Okay, so the computer practical exam for IC has three questions and you'll have to solve one of the questions. You'll have to code, produce the output for the given sample input and sample output. There are three questions and there is a question from strings, there is a question from integers or numbers and there is a question from matrices. So you will get one question from this, one question from this and you will get one question from this matrices. And then you will have to solve one of those. Now I, I have tried to list the topics for each of the categories that you must practice or at least remember the code for before you are appearing for your practicals. We will start with strings, obviously you should know how to read a string input for input from the user because there will be sample input there will be a sample output then you should be able to check if a string is terminating with a dot question mark or exclamation or any particular character because in the sample input they tell you that there will be an input string and you'll have to check if it ends with the certain characters or not you should know how to do this and there in, in one of those sample inputs they'll tell that if it does not end with this particular character then say it's an invalid input or something then you have string methods. You should remember as many as string methods possible, right? So I have listed a few which are very important right now. For example, dot split, dot length, dot index of. Uh, a lot of you might not be aware with dot split, but it comes very handy when you have to split a string into words, right? And you should remember as many as possible and at least these. You should know the use of at least these many functions, okay? Then you should be knowing how to sort an array of strings, okay? You will be, you can, they can give you a question like, where, where you have in, uh, an input string, divide the input sentence to different words and then sort the words based on certain some, something and then print the words, okay? You should be knowing how to work with the ASCII values, right? Uh, for example, small a, the lower case a corresponds to 95 and the capital case a corresponds to the value, sorry, 97 and 65, if I remember them correctly, okay. Next is palindromes uh, the last year question was on palindromes uh, it was a little tricky but the question was in palindromes so you should be knowing what are, what are palindromes right then you should be able to know checking if a character is a vowel or consonant for example they can give you a question well they they'll give you a sentence input ask you to get the words out of it get the number of vowels in each word and then arrange the words in the increasing order of number of vowels in each word okay and obviously extracting words from a sentence so these these extracting words from a sentence reading string input these are all these are very important next comes encryption this is something that i saw in one of the previous years papers but i'll suggest that you do it uh, that you uh, practice a program for this for example if a corresponds to f b corresponds to g right and c corresponds to h so z will correspond to e so for example they'll give you a word like a b c right and you'll have to find the encryption for it. So for this, the encrypted word will be FGH. All right. So these are the string topics. Moving on to integers or numbers. Obviously, you should be able to know how to read an integer input from the console. All right. Finding the digits of an integer. Okay. Getting the i digit of an integer. Some of the digits of an integer. You should be iterate. You should be able to iterate over the sum of iterate over the digits of an integer. All this you should be knowing okay reverse an integer for example they can give you a number they can ask you they'll ask you to reverse the number find the find the equivalent binary representation and you find the number of find the number of ones in that they can ask you questions like that they were very tricky and they were very smart with the question paper last year so i'm trying to think of as many as ways they can ask the questions then you should be able to check for a prime number obviously this, this is important decimal to binary conversion is very important you should be able to know how to do this and I've, I've recently posted a, uh, posted a sample question where, I'm, uh, where I've done this and then finding number of ones and zeros in the binary. Okay. Moving on to matrices. Matrices is, you okay. will get one question from matrices that you can choose. So you should be able to read input from the user that is you should be able to read. For example, the value of M, N and then M into N values, okay, in row major wise. Then you should know what are boundary elements, what are non-boundary elements, what are corners, what are diagonals for, a matrix for a 2D array. Then you should be able to sort individual rows, find the sum of individual rows. 
uh, sort columns find the sum of individual columns sort the entire matrix and rearrange row wise or column wise row wise for example you should fill rows first column wise in column wise you should fill columns first then you should be able to retrieve a matrix find a symmetric che uh, check if it's symmetric or not find a transpose of a matrix and find a mirror of a matrix so these if, if if you are able to cover these topics you should be fairly well prepared with your ic practicals and one of the, one last thing i really suggest is that you can use something like you, sh you should know the use of system.org.printf I've, I've added a video on this and you can check it on my channel and this is important when you have formatted output right for example certain times they want the output to be in a very certain formatted manner for that system.org.printf is very handy and it, it's an easy way to use it okay so i'll try to add i have added a lot of questions from a lot of these topics and i'll add i'll try to add more questions for the practicals so all the best and try to revise as many as possible and please post in the comments if you want anything else uh, any, any any discussion on a question or any particular topic to be reviewed okay thank you